Hey everybody, it's Chris and Tony back with another uh, Tiger Sox review for the Blue Collar Bear Gourmet. Yes, we are. Yes, indeed. We're here. And uh, we're ready. Today's selection is a Who's Your Beard that my man uh, in Indiana, Mr. Gone V6, uh, sent our way. Always sends us great beers. And in particular, <laughs> uh, everything that we've had from 450 North Brewing, we've really dug. Yeah. So much we so that even when we got a, a, a winter white ale, the Barnyard Yeti, which I drank with a little trepidation because I'm not a big fan of whites and neither is Tony. Uh, I got to say that's the best white I've ever had. And it came from 450 North Brewing. Yeah. They are an Indiana brewer. They're out of Columbus, I believe. It is Columbus, Columbus, Indiana. Yeah, Columbus Indiana. Yeah. Eric, or is it the 47203? I don't know. This is the six piece <laughs> nugget. Uh, is it a double IPA or it's, it's a New England IPA? It's a New England it IPA. Yes. New England IPA. Which we recently um, were talking about. And so, yes, New England IPA is very trendy nowadays. Uh, this beer in particular, very trendy. I've been seeing it a lot on Instagram, Tumblr, <laughs> some of the beer blogs. Uh, however, I've only seen, uh, the, only 477 of us have checked in this beer. So it's That's, either brand spanking new it must or... Be, uh, yeah. It must be. And that, uh, from among the 477 who've checked in, the cumulative score was 3.95. Only had one friend who's checked in on this beer, and it's the guy who sent it to me. And he gave it a 4.25. So cumulative score, 3.95. Chris's score, 4.25. And the fact that we've liked everything that's come yeah, from this brewery. We have every reason um, to expect uh, great things from this beer. So. We got a ABV on there? There's a 6.8 for 6.8. Oh, okay. And I guess the question is, what kind of dipping sauce is that? It's, it's true. Is it that, that coveted Szechuan sauce? I'm assuming it's barbecue, but... Maybe it's the elusive coveted uh, McDonald's uh, Szechuan. Szechuan that is such high rarity in these days. Anyway, one of the nuggets has sauce on it, so I just thought I'd point that out. Maybe it's beer. Do we have a bird on day? No, the it's base not. I already looked okay. uh, on the bottom of the can mm -hmm. and the top of the can. There's no date. Gotcha. But gotcha. They, they did give us the ABV, so we won't feel too bad. Yeah, and it, it, honestly, if if um, less than five people, have, 500 people have checked in, on a beer from 450 North Brewing, very popular. Like I said, I've been seeing pictures yeah. of this can all over Instagram and Tumblr. This can't be more than three, four months old at most. Yeah, I'd be so. curious to check out their website and see like if they have a beer release schedule on there. Mm -hmm. When it first And just to see exactly how new this beer is. But what I like about 450 also, they're, not only is their beer amazing, um, their labels are always really unique. They always have they very, it, it has a very uh, strange feel to it. Um, the label, it's the way the matte finish on the uh, yeah, it's it's almost got like a thick, like a real thick paper feel to uh, the label itself, and then there's always the exposed, uh, generic, you know, uh, untouched aluminum can as, as well. So they always have just really cool labels and artwork and awesome beer, mm -hmm. as we were just saying. So yeah, and we are we are thankful to Chris whether this ends up being a great beer or okay beer and we're a little, uh, foam, little head there. We're a little foamy early little on foamy. here. Boomy. Let's see. I'm getting pineapple Ooh, right man. away. This is already very like aroma explosion. Wow, uh, it's, going it's up your pineapple nose. and marshmallow and uh, it's aggressive, man. It's like you know, here's some aroma for you. It's aroma. Honestly, I, it's even like a little sweet potato, you know. Um, yeah. Pardon my French. Sorry. Uh, this is a family show. I'm gonna try not to use swear words because it is quality family entertainment. It is. Uh, damn. Back I'm, I am getting foam galore, everybody, as you can see with my uh, we, new Belgium glass. And then, can we pause this and get a couple of new glasses? Or uh, I can. I guess okay. we can. <laughs> let's let's pause this. We'll you, be right back. You guys won't know any differently. You but won't know we'll any differently. Yeah. yeah, we'll be back. So Tony did uh, go in. He grabbed a couple of new glasses. We're going to be trying some goblets. So uh, Sorry, I'm everybody. still going to let Tony do the pouring <laughs> because those who watch this channel regularly know that I am not the best pourer. Even though Tony I, is, even and, though I uh, failed miserably, but it's I think this can's just been shaken pretty pretty well. Um, it, it did get mailed, so we can manage with this though. I mean, mm -hmm. see, I had to stop it there just to get the foam to stop gotcha. right where it did. <laughs> Could I describe this as a high carbonation? Plenty of bubbles coming up through there. Oh yeah, it's, as you can see, it's uh, like a whirlpool, uh, like a jacuzzi going on in there. And it's every bit as hazy as you would expect a New England IPA to be. Um, you know what's funny is, honestly, I gotta say, if you go online and you try to find out anything more about what what you know is expected of a New England IPA, you see hazy. 
Right. And that's it. And you don't really see anything they else. They want it to be cloudy. It's and like, that's, that's okay, I get that. Sure. Yeah, that, that's part of it. But what else? You yeah, know, give me sir. some notes on aroma, what it should smell, yeah. what it should taste like, how it should be different from another IPA other than just the cloudy. Exactly. Yeah. There's plenty of cloudy IPAs out there, you know? Yeah. I mean, so. Yeah, it's almost like it, in, in amongst itself, to qualify for a, to be a New England, it just has to be murky. Cloudy, yeah. easy, call it what you will. Now, the notes that I'm getting off of this, now that we've had a chance to pour it, get a little air to it. And I combined the two previous attempts into one, so I think we can go now. I'm, I'm still I'm still smelling that pineapple, um, like a sweetened pineapple. Um, you know the when you, yeah. uh, you go to an old lady's house and she has the pineapple rings, the dried sugared <laughs> pineapple rings? That those. sort of sweet pineapple Grandma. smell. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting off of this, is that sweet pineapple. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said a little bit earlier, I'm still getting a little bit of a sweet potato smell off of there. A lot of sweet smell on top of being uh, hoppy. Yeah, um, it's like a, I think what you described first is the best, is if you took pineapple and, and just kind of sweetened it, amped it up a little bit on sweetness rather than the tartness or sourness. It, that's what kind of strikes me is, is the pineapple. And that is a very, very resilient head. That is not, <laughs> it's barely allowing me to swirl, basically. Yeah. It's... Uh, it smells Taking amazing. So much I'm, space I'm, and it's actually not as hazy as I've seen some of some, the yeah. New England I've definitely seen get. hazier. This actually any... colors very similar to the pale ale we just reviewed last mm -hmm. week. I mean, as far as it, it's kind of Color similar. Color even. And, uh, it's very yeah. similar, actually. So, Lots of carbonation. I think we've got enough, maybe. I, I, at least I do. I can work I'm with what I got I'm going to end up with I'll just have a foam mustache, so it's fine. <laughs> Everyone wants so, to see your foam mustache. Okay. Cheers. 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 Mm, very biting. Mm, yeah. Bites you right away. Like, ah, there you go. You're it's bitey, me. and now I'm tasting pear, and uh, I'm tasting uh, maltiness. I'm getting Pops, kiwi maybe a little bit too. A little kiwi. Yeah, this is, there's a lot going on with this beer. I'm getting a little bit of kiwi, like like the juice of a kiwi, like from an actually, not, like from, not from a carton or anything, but like an actual bite into it and get the juice. It's tart. It's sweet. It's... Uh, I mean, I, like I said, I melon, taste the maybe. hops. Yeah, I, I taste uh, there's a variety of fruit, that's for sure. Even. I mean, uh -huh. it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of going all over, like you just said. Um, but yeah, the hops, obviously, are, are they're really, that's that's one thing I can tell right away, is that the aftertaste is, is abundantly hoppy, whereas your initial uh, sip taste is uh, the fruit, the combination of the fruits. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's very, on the back end, it's very uh, hoppy. Very high mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. um, Exactly. I'm not, and, and New England's, I think we talked about this before in, in a previous uh, episode. I don't have, I mean, as much as I love IPAs, I don't have a long laundry list of check, you know, like New England's I can check off. It's true. So I, I just haven't tried a whole lot of them. And the breweries here in town have yet to, as far as I know, have yet to even attempt one. Yeah, I, uh, so. yeah exactly, attempt one. Um, it's, uh, I don't know whether... I don't know, given where we are, perhaps, you know, any IPAs have been big the past year. I got to say, really, it wasn't until about well, the beginning of the summer, honestly, that I started to really even see New England yeah, IPAs no, first no, appearing. Totally. No, uh, just, so I don't know whether that, that was kicked, nationally or whether... Someone kicked the door open on these things. Exactly. Boom! Here's a bunch of them. Um, I'm digging it, though. I'm enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. It's not... It actually kind of also reminds me of Stone Ruination a little bit. Even though uh, even though mm -hmm. ruination is not a, a New England style, um, I think it's just the, the particular uh, combination recipe of their own, you know, mashup of hops. This almost, as far as hops goes, this reminds me of their mashup for their for their ruination, and that's actually one of my top five favorite mm -hmm. IPAs is Stone Ruination. Um, I drink it all the time, like constantly. <laughs> so um, that's a compliment because if I'm comparing this beer to that. You know I'm praising it very highly, but 450 again. You know they made a style that they made a beer of a style, and they they did it well. They they just seem to succeed at every yeah. At, I mean, every, I, uh, I've never I've never had an average beer from 450, let alone exactly. you know a bad one. So. Right, the style being the style, they make their interpretation of it, and they always do well. So if anybody out there is watching that has been to 450 or works for 450. 
you've got two big fans in Las Vegas. Indeed, sure. and let's see if we can get this three tier working to our advantage and try and get some of your uh, products in the Las Vegas market. That would be great. I'm here to tell you right now, it would be well received in the Neon Valley. Oh, um, absolutely. You yeah. know, we're both regularly go to beer events. I'm a member of SNAFU, Southern Nevada Ale Fermenters Union. And I'm here to tell you right now, the your products would be well received in this market. Totally. Uh, Especially yeah. your IPAs, because um, being in Vegas, being in Nevada, we are California adjacent, obviously. We're on the West, so we get a lot of Washington beers, um, Oregon beers. And I don't need to tell you, the IPA uh, uh, market out here on the West Coast is massive. So Nevada is basically part of that. So it, it's... Any New England style, any double IPA, any Imperial, any uh, Session IPA, I think what, with what 450 has uh, demonstrated that they would do really well here. I Thank you, Chris. Yeah, thanks, very, Chris. Very yeah, I can, man. I um, can't say enough. I'll be giving this, I think, a 4.5 on uh, uh, Untapped. I'd probably have to say the same. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm definitely over 4, 4, 2, 5 possibly, but I think they've earned a higher score just because beer after beer – they impress me. So um, I would say of all the times you and I have sat here and done these together, you know, a few years now, season three, um, <laughs> that 450 might be, I, I, I don't know. I mean, so far I, it's proven to be my favorite Hoosier brewer. That, really that's no it. doubt. I mean, yeah. as far as what's coming from Indiana that, that Chris has shared with us, that's to me a slam dunk. But and I've been other great beers from other Indiana brewers totally. too. But, um, but I think they – stand alone. I think that not mm -hmm. only are they the best Hoosier brewery. Um, well, Three I've Floyds had. has been very good. Three Floyds has theirs, I'll be honest, which yeah. kind of elevates and the them pig for funeral, one single beer. The Pig Destroyer, rather. Yeah, yeah. Pig Destroyer. Which we had. Somewhere. Yeah. But I don't know. I think of all the reviews you and I have done, the one brewer that's just the most consistent is them, I, which is very high price. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, if you're a fan of IPAs, New England-style IPAs, you live in Indiana, you're nearby Indiana. Um, Pick up some 450 North. Check out 450, especially this beer, the, uh, the six-piece nugget. Six piece nugget. Maybe you'll get lucky and there'll be a seventh nugget, and you're mm -hmm. done. <laughs> any, any, oh, and uh, happy, we're, we're coming up on Thanksgiving here. We uh, are. Um, we're getting damn close I by the time this know, airs. I'm going to be trying to maybe do a Periscope video, because uh, I will be doing a brewery tour when I'm in San Diego over uh, Thanksgiving. He's going to uh, stone, everybody. There's going to be, there'll at least be um, pictures. So yeah. check out Instagram for sure, and I'll try to tweet uh, as much as I can, um, brewery pictures and internal uh, workings pictures. Yep, he's going to stone. I'm jealous. I've, I've been there once before. It's in Escondido, California. If you ever have a chance to check that place out, even if you're not a fan of the beer, you go there, you can order other stuff. Well, that's what it's I've just heard. a beautiful, it's beautiful building. Yeah, I mean, it just the, the grounds are amazing. The grounds are amazing. There's like a garden in the back with just sprawling lawns and chairs and creeks and fountains, and it's it's like you're in a paradise. You're, you don't even know you're in a brewery. It's just like a tranquil hideaway kind of thing. And the beer is awesome, I, yeah. I think. I mean, <laughs> yeah. personally, but yeah, good stuff. Thanks, guys. Highly recommend this this uh, New England style IPA. And until next time, drink good beer. Don't break the bank doing it. Thank you for what you said, Chris. Cheers. We love you guys. We love Later. You. Yeah.